Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folari. Um, our guest this morning is, uh, well, uh, uh, a man of four Ps, as we were talking just before coming on, prince, pastor, prophet, and uh, politician, uh, Solomon Eniolaoni, uh, two times governorship aspirant uh, in his uh, native Kondo state. Um, thank you very much. Uh, you, you've been a governorship candidate, uh, what, uh, in 2018 and 2022? Um, Quite frankly, you've been, you've been around the, the political circuit uh, nationally, but particularly in the Southwest, because um, well, you were in DPP, uh, you contested. Uh, well, you would have contested, although your party was disqualified last time around, right? That was in 2022, the last election. The, the, the last election. But for the DPP, mm -hmm. for that 2018, mm -hmm. it was okay. grand. Okay. So... Actually, why we're here is not necessarily to um, x-ray uh, the, uh, the whole, you know, circle in, uh, uh, in the last election, but it's, it's more to focus on the Southwest generally going into 2023 and the big election, uh, of course, the presidential election as well as all the other elections, and sort of put the Southwest in focus. How, um, how, how, how crucial is the Southwest? Um, to the quest of any presidential candidate. There are many of them, but just looking at the top three, you got Tinumbu, you got Atiku, you got Obi, not necessarily, I don't know in which order, but uh, those three right there. <laughs> yes. uh, they would hope and want for the people of the Southwest, the electorate in the Southwest, to you know, pitch the camp with them. Uh, so give me your point of view, from the point of view of a politician, you know, how crucial the Southwest is. Thanks so much, Mr. Yomi. Yori, please. Just, just <laughs> Yori, okay. Just Mr. Yori. Yori. Okay, it's a pleasure. Now, we are discussing about the 2023 Southwest in focus. Now, let me just quickly add this one. For Southwest, mm -hmm. 2023 is make or mark. Okay. If you don't get it right, for 2023, just forget about it. I'm not a prophet of Dubu. That is... Uh, the Southwest. Okay. The, the Southwest will if, be make or mark. Yes. Okay. If you don't get it right for this coming presidential election, mm -hmm. I mean the Southwest. Mm -hmm. Just forget it. Okay. Uh, what, what, what does it mean uh, by your reckoning uh, for the Southwest to get it right? Now, is an opportunity for us. You know, like you said, we have three... Uh, leading candidate. Okay. So they, they said it in the political party. They said, okay, the contenders and pretenders. <laughs> okay, because they have used that language. For me, they said uh, some contenders, some pretenders. Because <laughs> they, believe that, they believe that we don't belong to APC or PDP and others. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. I okay, you. now, let's extract the leading political parties. Okay. I want to focus on the APC candidates. Okay. That is, I mean, the presidential candidates. That as you want to in Now, the other leading political parties. I'm talking about the PDP now. The running mate, Okoa. Understand? Okay. For the OB, the Labour Party. Okay. The running mate is from uh, this uh, Ahmed. Uh, this, what is this, the name of this man from the the Northerners, anyway. Now, we see that the Southwest only have the chance of supporting Asiwaj Bolati Nobu. There's no, among the other political parties, that parade the running mate from Southwest. You understand? Now, and this is the time for us to oh, rally that. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I just, I, I, the nickel just dropped. What well, you're saying that uh, Asiwaj Bolati Nobu yes. is a southwesterner. Yes. So that, that's what you're saying is that for the southwest, that's the horse that they need to be backing. Yes. Because he is their own in the southwest. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, you know why did I say so? And, and he's the only one who has that credential yes. among the leading politicians. Yes. Atiku is not from the southwest. Yes. Even though people will say that, well, we, we, he has a, 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 a darling wife who is not a stranger to to southwest. You know we. <laughs> we have to move from that kind of sentiment. Okay. I will tell you the history 
behind Bola Metinobu, as we have never had before. Really? Yes. That sounds exciting. You know, Baba told me, I mean, my late mentor, a father, is a friend. Later, Adikalaya did. Okay. Lady Kalaya told me a lot about Asuajibola and Metinu while he was alive. Yes, he told me some things about him. Some of it good? Oh, no. Excellent. Oh. The man, no, let me tell you, all this noise about Asuajibola and Metinu is because they don't know Asuajibola and Metinu. If they know, if they know it very well, they will know that the man is a thousand miles, million miles apart. I'm telling you. That was a day Baba called me. I was with Baba. Baba said, Are you? You know, it's, I told you they are my friend. I, all of them, the, the one that, uh, I mean, the least among them that died was died at the age of 87 years. That's Justice Odumosu from Idebode. So all of them, we have together. They take me as, I take them as a friend. Okay. Not as even, a son. Yes. Even though they're that much older than yeah, you. Yeah, even my, even my, no, that's my father, my late father. Because I'm a friend to my late father. But I took them as my friend. Okay. We relate together. Mm -hmm. We said, they call me and say, yes, my friend. I say, look now, uh, are we not friend? I said, I was born in September. What's your month of, they say, what's your age? I say, no, don't forget about the age, but you are talking about the month of, but, you know, if I just called me one day, he said, Ayo, who do you think supposed to enter the sewer of Sifabafemi Awolowo in the Yoruba, among the Yorubas? And I said, I said, Baba, I have two names. I said, what's the names? I said, first name, Sif, who do you say, I said the second name that's come to my mind is as you are you Bola Metinubu. He looked at me and said, hmm, I know you. I know you are very brilliant and clever. He said, but okay, among the, I mean the 22, who do you think to wear the, the cap or to be the leader? I said, oh, well, though. See, Papa said, I happened to be my father. He sent me to Nigeria Defense Academy. I'm a cadet officer. Okay. Now, I said, I knew Sifo Basajo very well. I can talk about him. But uh, as you are, I don't know much about him. I said, okay. For me, I will, prefer, I will say, okay, let me take uh, Sifo Basajo. So I now look at me. I said, yes. I said, okay. It's good. But he now told me that. Let me tell you one secret. Sifo Basajo cannot be the leader. He said, but as what you are made to do, to be the leader of the Yoruba. Okay. He okay. said, he gave me some messages that if in the future it's not uh, me alive again, I should pass that message to the Orni or Fife. And because of it, I wrote a letter to the present Imperial Majesty, Anita. Send a letter to him concerning what the Baba told about how they will do it. To, I mean, uh, to crown Asuwa Jutinebu as the leader of the Yoruba. Now, you know, Baba Lanyade was the first president of Yoruba Council of Elders. The Yoruba Council of Elders split, that is, they call it Egbe Agba Yoruba. Okay. They split from the Afeni Ferry. Because I was going to bring Afeni Ferry into a conversation. Okay. Say, look. Where does Afeni Ferry figure in all of this? Because you think Afeni Ferry, what, is a social political uh, organization. And um, uh, first of all, there are those who are saying it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, then ARG, Afeni Ferry Renewal Group came up. I don't know if it is much more different. And so wh where I was going, what I was going to say was that how influential will, be, will a body like Afeni Ferry be uh, in you know, in, in, in the enterprise. No, you down. see, Afeni Ferry, as far as I'm concerned, have died and we have buried him since 1998 at Dirovan Hotel. What happened at the Dirovan okay. Hotel that you are you recall, to the burial of okay, Afeni Ferry? I will tell you now. And what led to the formation of Yoruba Council of Elders? Pre-1999, let me 
go back to 1978. Let me take it from 1978. I'm a very young man, but I told you, all these people, they are my friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I learned a lot from them. That was in 78, pre. Baba, she from Bafe Mawolo. I met Baba Bafe uh, Mawolo once in my life. That's in 1985 at Baba, not in this place. I took care In that 78, Baba wanted the, all his allies, I mean his friend, the, uh, the, those people that was with Baba during the actual group to become the governor of the five states in the southwest then. Okay, he wants Elijah like Latif Jackande to be the governor of Lagos State. See for uh, Onabanjo, Ayekoto, Nogo State. Baba had the Kenya Day to be the governor in your state. Then uh, Baba had the Kenya Jackson on those state and Ambrose and the Bender State. But Baba was able. So, you know, it was succeeded in all the other four states, mm -hmm. except on your state. Sivalagi challenged the authority. He said, no, no. Sivalagi was the one that had the, the youth wing of the UPA. The, so this this I, is going back to 79, right? Yes. Yes, this is going back to 1979. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. So now, the Baba, I'm going to be the principal. Of Zimbalagi. Zimbalagi name is Young Balagi. The name is Young Balagi. It's able to be the principal to Chief Balagi. Now, they now say, okay, let's go. Pamari. Zimbalagi defeated his principal. Now, <laughs> that's, they see Zimbalagi as ambitious man. They see him as Somebody that's so. The, the Baba told me immediately, the Baba won the primary election. He came, proceeded in his house, and said, Baba, there is a ticket. I just exercised what you taught us in the school. <laughs> <laughs> Baba said, Stop. Stop. He said, You, you, this Ajibola. He said, Baba, I know that. Baba is Baba, he said, Ajibola. He said, Ajibola, don't worry. I'm happy because I have somebody like you that even if you are not. Alive again. So we know that I'm proud of you. So now, he now asked Baba that if truly Baba forgive him, so Baba should lead his campaign. Now Baba told me that he now took Sibalagi to Zivawolowo to plead with him. Baba that, oh please, uh, you know, it's a young boy, that's, and that's what I taught him the school and this and that. That's okay. So that if Sibalagi, okay, no problem. Now, Baba led the campaign, 78, 79. Now, after Sibalagi won the election, some people don't know that. You know, Sibakinjide emerged as a candidate of MPA. And Sibakinjide and Sibalagi, you don't know that. They are like, like a, uh, they marry a cousin. The wife of Sibalagi and the wife of uh, Sibakinjide, they are first cousin. Now, when Sibalagi emerged as a governor, he now asked Baba, that Baba, come and pick any portfolio that you like. Baba said, no, don't worry. Just go and form your cabinet. I'm OK with you. And I said, Balagi said, no, Baba, if truly you are with me, so please, Baba, it's OK. If that be the case, let me handle the local government and see if they say I'm fierce for you. Anybody can confirm. Baba was the first, the Balagi was the one that first uh, created that uh, the portfolio, populist portfolio, Baba. I said, don't worry. So because I be able to tackle the uh, the uh, because if this CFTC, the border dispute, all these things, they will not allow you to focus on the the governor. So let me just <laughs> tackle this one for you. So I will be in charge of this one for you because as an elderly man. So I will, so that's why Baba took over as the uh, what you call uh, the look, uh, commissioner for local government and CFTC affair. Now. We see, after 79 to 1983, you know, I'm talking about old on your state now. Now, uh, Dr. Malulo Noyo emerged as a governor. And among those disciples, let me call them the disciples, the Bible disciples, we see that 
It was only Sifu Olaegi that's very vocal. He can talk, he can do anything. <laughs> so give him that credit. Baba told me once, he said that if you don't want, if you don't want to agree with anything with Jibola, don't let him to start talking. If he starts talking, just say, no, no, hold on, hold on, please go, 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 go. If, if Jibola tell you anything that if he asks you to vote for a madman, you vote. Okay. It, can be very, it, can, it can be very persuasive. Yes. Okay. So all of this is background by way of making people understand um, the Afeni Ferry and in particular the Southwest. Because we're trying to see how crucial or otherwise Southwest is going to be to this endeavor and whether uh, Bola Metinumbu or Peter Obe or Atiku have it in the bag already. That's what I'm saying. So I'm trying to. This is, you're, you're giving us this picture. The, yes, mm -hmm. I'm trying to give you the details of, of what led to, to the death, death of, of Afeni Ferry. Afeni Ferry. Let me see it. Okay. So I'm just giving you the, the background. Mm -hmm. Now, post uh, 83, we see that, like I said, Sibalek was the most poker among the disciples there. Now, because he's young. When the time now, during the 1980, you know, Baba, Baba uh, died in 1987, and there's a gap. They need somebody that will stand, that have a political. Baba told me once, Baba, they said, that, you know, to become a leader, a Yoruba leader, you must have a political power. You don't have any political power. How can you control people? It's not possible. It's not a matter of money. It's just a matter of... And by political power, he, he meant, you know, uh, following. Yes, followers. followers. You know. If you don't have the followers, how can you control the people? It's not possible for you. You may have, you, may have, you know, you may be richer than Dangote. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the people will not listen to you. You know, by me, I say, oh, I will, 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 I will. The people will start following. Okay, but at that time, Bolaige has established himself as a rally point for the south for the southwest uh, politicians there okay but i don't want to make mention names here now but we know maybe from the discussion we know but there are some people within the affair they are they are not comfortable with the rising profile of sibolaige okay okay because they know that if sibolaige later come out emerge as a presidential candidate, mm -hmm. if you show, if they will not be able to control him. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. are looking for every means to stop him. Okay. Now, it, was there any similarity between that attitude, the attitude, that attitude uh, towards uh, the late Chief Bolaige and uh, 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 Ashwaj Bolaige? Yes, in, that's in modern days. Yes, that's it. Okay.